Hello Capricorn, let's do your energy reading for December. Uh, so a lot of people are writing asking for love readings, so that's what we're going to do. Um, but remember, other things may show up in your reading, like about your health, finances, family, whatnot. So if that shows up, it means you're supposed to know the messages. And also for most of you, these energies will be extending into the new year 2020. Okay, so let's see. Universe, please step in. Show us messages of love and anything else for Capricorn for December 2019. What kind of energies will Capricorn be um, working with in December? What kind of energies will Capricorn have around them in December? What kind of energies for Capricorn? Yeah, a lot of hectic stress times. Stress, stress, disagreements showing up. Yeah, it's about your love. So you are separated from your loved one. Uh, yeah, not communicating. You still love this person because here you are holding a red flower, which stands for love, but you look disappointed emotionally. You do love this person a lot. Two of Cups, also soulmate energy from other lifetimes. So you have very special bond with this person and are waiting to see what happens. Let's clarify these energies for you, Capricorn. Let's see, clarification for the sign of Capricorn. Energies for Capricorn. So look, five of wands from two different decks. So disagreements, arguments. Virgo energy showing up here. You could be dealing with the Virgo, but you don't have to be. This also means no communication and being withdrawn emotionally. Eight of, one, uh, eight of cups. So you want to go beyond this negative energy. Of stagnation you don't want to deal with the craziness anymore you don't want to think about it you don't want to deal with it you still love the person though you do love the person mm-hmm two of cups and are trying to feel the situation trying to figure out what the next action should be what you should do or shouldn't do what you should say or shouldn't say um, but a lot of you are not in contact with this person right now. And some of you are in very limited contact where you disagree and argue on uh, major things, actually. Let me clarify the five of wands for you, Cappies. So apologies will need to be spoken but this also confirms that the two of you love each other still yeah look at this ace of cups which is unexpressed love so both of you love each other but are not saying it to each other and this also means one to give another chance and also means apologies so apologies will need to be spoken um Let's see their energies towards you. Universe, please step in. Show us Capricorn's soulmate's energies, um, feelings, and intentions towards Capricorn. What are the soulmate's feelings and intentions towards Capricorn? Again, Ace of Cups from another deck. So this person wants to tell you that they love you still and want another chance. The Ace of Cups. Let's see underneath. Yeah, so they are suspending themselves spiritually, trying to figure out the best way to handle this situation at this point, this connection. Going within, analyzing, going to do some soul searching for themselves. 
they want to fight for this connection. They do. Now, will they? Uh, we don't know. But they want to. They, they are thinking of it. And not only do they have a lot of love for you, they have a lot of passion for you. So here you have beautiful two aces back to back. Ace of Cups for love and Ace of Wands for passion and new beginning. So with the Seven of Wands, they are willing to fight for this. I want to clarify this whole row to see more detail. Uh, universe, please step in, show us soulmates um, intentions and feelings towards Capricorn. King of Pentacles. So a lot of you could be dealing with another Capricorn, could be also Taurus or Virgo. Another ace. So you have three aces showing up. This person is very serious about bringing forward something stable, something solid, tangible to the table. Not just coming in with empty words and promises. Okay, this individual is willing to work hard to get your affection again and your love and your attention. They are willing to work hard. Yeah. Seven of Cups. And also they know you have other options. So they see you as uh, very youthful, attractive, beautiful, and they know that you have other options out there. They're not the only ones for you. They know you have other options. Mm -hmm. This also means that they're trying to figure out how to communicate the best, what route to take, what to say, when to say it, not to screw up. They don't want to mess up. Let's see. Uh-huh. Let's see. I want to see more feelings. Let's see. Universe, please step in. Show us the soulmate's feelings and emotions towards Capricorn. The soulmate's feelings and emotions towards Capricorn. they showing up here as fiery energy. Uh, Leo, uh, Sagittarius, Aries. Could be any sign whatsoever. So they want to take action. Yeah, they do with the Magician card. Empress. They see you. This is how they see you. They see you as an Empress. They see you as somebody who is of value, who is respectful, who is um, who has integrity and class and high standards. They're very regretful. So they did something that they ashamed of in this connection and regret and are very sad. They are emotionally withdrawn. They are very sad about not having communication with you. That's proper communication. They're very withdrawn about that emotionally. Very sad. And they love you. Look at this Ace of Cups. So unspoken love not being expressed. They're very sad about that. Wheel of Fortune. So something is going to happen. You guys have unfinished business with the Wheel of Fortune. Something is going to happen where the two of you will talk, hopefully face to face. It's up to you. But the best talk is face to face. And then you'll be able to, to decide whether you want to keep this individual in your life or not. And at what distance but it would be very beneficial to both sides to resolve this and not feel any any uh, grudges, any resentment, because that's just going to affect your future relationships in a negative way. Yeah. They have good intentions towards you and they love you. That's what showed up. Now, let's see binding energies for December for you Capricorn and your soulmate. Universe, please step in and show binding energies between Capricorn and their soulmate for December. Emperor, so a lot of you are dealing with somebody stubborn and set in their ways. 
but they are willing to work on themselves and to work on this connection if you would give it a chance and they also would like they know they know that once you make up your mind you will work with them also so they want to work as a team on this they do seeing you as queen they seeing you as queen of wands somebody who is independent uh, uh, beautiful, attractive, uh, successful, doesn't need anybody really for anything. And they know that for this to work out, there has to be more uh, work put in by them. You can't just be doing everything. They know they need to communicate better. They know they need to put in more work into this relationship, this connection for it to work. One, one side can just be doing everything and the other one just sitting there looking pretty. Let's see. Let's clarify these binding energies between you, Capricorn, and your loved one. You see, Ace of Cups again. So both of you love each other. So there is a uh, love on both sides that's not being spoken or expressed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you want a new beginning. With the full card, I love it. Leap of faith. And yes, you have unfinished business again. So the Wheel of Fortune again. So you're going to have a chance. Yeah, there is going to be major change in this connection for the better and because you do have free will like everybody else after the two of you talk and listen listen carefully you will have a chance to decide what you want to do whether you want to keep this individual in your life uh, close by at a distance or not at all that will be your choice and their choice as well obviously but you know, universe respect your free will. They're not going to judge you uh, or hold it against you if you don't uh, listen to their advice, which we're going to ask for their advice. But if you decide to do the actual opposite, they will respect you because they know you have a free will that you agree to each time you incarnate in physical bodies. We all have free will. Now, our free will is limited when we are children, but when we are adults, we have full usage of our free will and how we want to exercise it in relationships and everything else in our lives. So the universe respects your free will. Let's see. Um, let's see advice. Before advice, let's see any messages, any other messages the universe wants to give Capricorn. Universe, please show any messages about anything for Capricorn. Aha. Uh -huh. King of Swords. Yeah. So this person showing up here, uh, very analytical. They know... They know they have to put in actual work for this relationship to work. They know they need to put in more work. They weren't fair enough before. Yeah. Now, because this is a collective reading, for some of you Capricorns, you could be the one who needs to improve. But for most of the people here... It's the other person that needs to do major improvement. Yeah, and this person loves you. This person truly loves you. Here they are showing up very sad, emotionally disappointed, but holding a red flower for love. So this person has a lot of love for you. And wants to communicate. Yes, they do want to communicate honestly with you. They do. And here is Red Flower as well. So both of you love each other. Let's see. Uh, clarification. I want to see clarification on this person over here. Their energy showing up here as King of Swords. Capricorn soulmate towards Capricorn. 
So they know you very independent. Here is very grounded Virgo energy of independence. Um, nine of Pentacles. So they see you as not needing them. <laughs> they don't feel like you need them for anything or want them for that matter. But they want to see you. They want to talk to you. They want to see how you react towards them. Yeah, here you are, Queen of Pentacles. So they see you as this very grounded, mature individual with common sense. And they feel this very strong soul bond, emotional bond, lover's card. This also means Gemini. But... For some of you, you're dealing with Aquarius that comes across as emotionally detached. But that's just a front. Mm, they do care for you emotionally deeply. And here it is, the lover's card. They love you and they feel this soul connection, emotional connection, deep connection. They can't stop thinking about you. They showed up as king of swords in the first position. So you are on their minds a lot. Let me see advice for you, Capricorn. Universe, please step in. Show advice for the sign of Capricorn. Advice for the sign of Capricorn. The world. Knight of Pentacles. Very beautiful energy. Grounded energy. Look at this beautiful. So they advise the universe is advising you that when this person reaches out to communicate, listen to them and when they apologize, accept their apology. Doesn't mean you have to be with them. Doesn't mean you have to marry them. Doesn't mean you have to live with them. But accepting their apology, if they are gracious enough to apologize for what they did or didn't do um, right, will help you release whatever toxic negative energy you're feeling towards them as a result of the pain they caused you. So you don't hold to any grudges because that would only affect you negatively and your relationships in the future. Don't hold to any grudges. Wow. Look at this. King of Cups. So this person loves you very much and is not speaking, uh, not letting you know how much they love you. This person thinks of you a lot. Wants to express their love and offer you love. Start fresh. Start new. This also means apologies. Uh, so the universe is advising you to listen when they reach out to you. Doesn't mean you have to be with them. But at least listen and read between the words and watch their body language. Yeah, there will be communication coming. Here's the Eight of Wands. This person feels very bonded with you emotionally and spiritually so here is past life connection showing up here oh what are they hiding i want to know what they hiding seven of swords let me clarify seven of swords they see you as empress somebody with high standards integrity class and they know you're very intuitive. You have very good intuition, psychic abilities, which is not shocking because you're watching these videos. You obviously have good intuition. Universe, please clarify the Seven of Swords. What is the soulmate of Capricorn hiding or trying to hide? They don't want you to know... <laughs> that they need you <laughs> they don't want to come across as needy and clingy which they not clingy but they don't want you to think that that they can't live without you obviously they can live without you yeah they can but they need you more than you think 
I want to see what this uh, moon card is about. Hold on. Let's see. Clarification for the moon card. Yeah, they're very confused. So they don't know. They're very confused with the moon card, two of swords. They don't know what to do, what to say, how to do it, when to do it. So a lot of you were in a serious union with this person. Some of you were married. Some of you were living together. Uh, even if you weren't married, um, there was a serious union here. Mm -hmm. Wow. So they don't want you to know they, they, they really need you in their life. They do. They do need you more than you knew. Um, let me see more messages for Cappies universe. Please show more messages for Capricorn. So they are keeping tabs on you. They are watching you. I, I don't want you to be worried thinking like they are stalking you, but they are keeping an eye on you to see how you're doing. They're very curious how you're doing, what you're doing. Yeah. Three of cups. Some of them, are. Um, Keeping tabs on you through mutual friends. They do love you. They do. And they want to reconcile. So they're serious. They are hoping. They are hoping to come back into your good graces and reconcile. Now, the universe is advising you... Um, when they reach out or if you choose to use your free will and reach out to them to make peace um to listen to them listen to them watch their body language read between the words and then make your judgment assessment and judgment yeah look at this so this person truly deeply loves you and the bottom of the deck, five of pentacles. So they miss you like crazy. This person misses you like crazy. They see you as very uh, beautiful, independent. Wheel of fortune. So you guys have unfinished business together. So you have a chance to resolve this. And then decide what you want to do with this connection. Stay in each other's lives or leave. That will be your, you know, free will to do as you please. And their free will also, obviously. But, yeah, the, the universe doesn't force anything on people. Um, and usually when the tower moment comes in, it's your own soul uh, steering you away from the wrong road that you're heading. Hmm... Let me see one more message. I feel you supposed to have one more message. Let's see what they show you about anything for Capricorn. Justice. I love that card, obviously. The star. So a lot of you are dealing with Aquarius and uh, you were in a union, serious union with this individual, whether it's Aquarius or not. Two of Wands. So you do miss this person. You do miss this person. This person hurts you very deeply, Capricorn. Three of Swords, the worst card in the whole deck. In a traditional deck, this is depicted uh, with the heart being stabbed by three swords. So this person truly uh, caused some deep heart wounds in you. But you are so strong and resilient. You are like ready to live your life. You're so resilient and strong. Yeah, independent, grounded energy. Queen of Pentacles. They're keeping tabs on you. They, they're checking on you. They're spying on you. They're checking on you. Again, Page of Swords. They're watching you. 
not in a creepy way, but they're just curious how you're doing because they love you, they care about you, so they want to know how you're doing. Yeah. And they want to, yeah, they have very good intentions towards you, solid intentions. They want to come in with this grounded energy and offer you something tangible, not just empty words. And look at this love. So they want to offer you again a home life that's happy, that's stable, Ten of Cups, bottom of the deck, King of Cups. So this person loves you very deeply. Yeah. So if you allow them back into your good graces, this person will make sure they don't mess up. Now, in some cases, uh, because this is a collective reading, uh, some of you Capricorns messed up too. But I see for most Capricorns, your person uh, did you wrong. Because Three of Swords showed up. You were deeply wounded emotionally by this individual. But this person is learning. And this person truly does love you. So it's going to be up to you. It's going to be up to you what you want to do. Three of Cups, they want to meet with you face to face and talk. they unable to release you from their heart. Unable to. Look, in love, totally in love with you. Queen of Cups with King of Cups. Looking at each other from two different decks. Let's see the bottom. I'm curious. Victorious Six of Wands. So... Capricorn, you have a great, great, great chance of resolving this in total victory and having a great relationship after major shakeup with this person, if you allow it, if you choose to give them a chance. Yeah, so this it looks like this person learned their lesson. Yes, so Cappies, thank you so much for watching. If you need a private read, you can reach me on my email below the video. Otherwise, I will see you soon. I wish you all the best and I thank you for watching.